Welcome to Ford Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix Ford and Lincoln vehicles right the first time. DPF regeneration can be another cause of white smoke. Regeneration is a different vehicle operating mode, triggered when the DPF system needs to burn off trapped particulate to clear the filter. During regeneration, the tailpipe can transmit a lot of heat. Excessive regeneration can cause additional white smoke. Some driving habits, like a lot of short trips and long idle times, can cause excessive regeneration. These habits force the PCM to repeatedly request regeneration cycles. This happens when the vehicle owner doesn't drive to clean long enough for the regeneration process to complete. For more information, see the link to another Tech Talk video on regeneration and drive to clean in the video description. Next, check the glow plug system. The glow plug system in a diesel engine is a starting aid in cold weather. The plugs glow red to help warm the fuel and the combustion chamber to get the engine running. In cold weather, if the glow plug system isn't working properly, there may not be enough heat to burn all of the fuel properly, causing white smoke. First, test the glow plug system with the IDS. Then you can test them with a multimeter to find the fault. Controller issues can range from not working at all in older vehicles to circuit concerns or network issues. Next on the engine diagnostics list is to check the wiring. If there's a fault in the flow of power, that could prevent the glow plugs from working. Look for things like terminal spread, bent terminals, or heat damage. If you've completed this checklist and still not identified the cause, it's time to check the base engine. Next. Check the relative compression with the IDS tool. If one or two cylinders have an issue, this will help you identify which ones. If all the cylinders compare with each other, check the air filter and the intake ducts for any signs of dirt or a gritty feel that could suggest dusting. If this is suspected, the intake and turbo will require further inspections. What you're looking for is any kind of rounded edges that look or feel like sandblasting. If there are no signs of dusting, do a manual compression check. This step will help you validate the mechanical health of the engine. First, always remove all the glow plugs. That's the correct procedure for a compression check. It eliminates the cranking resistance. Unless you can see an obvious issue, Ford recommends that you check all of the cylinders. What you're looking for is a compression between 370 to 400 PSI near sea level. The other thing that you're looking for is that the cylinders are all relatively equal. There should not be more than a 20 PSI difference between the highest and lowest reading. If the compression is low, that could be the cause of your white smoke. Motorcraft mass airflow or MAF sensors are the only ones recommended by Ford Motor Company for use in Ford, Lincoln, or Mercury vehicles. New and remanufactured sensors are available to help meet your customer's needs. The units come ready to plug into the vehicle with no need for modifications to fit. Motorcraft MAF sensors optimize fuel consumption and emissions to help vehicles meet emissions requirements, and their tight tolerances help minimize false check engine warnings. And when you use Motorcraft MAF sensors, you know that the design includes all the most recent original equipment innovations and upgrades. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Motorcraft parts feature a two-year, unlimited mileage warranty. That's all for this post. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of our series of installation and repair tips for Ford or Lincoln vehicles. For more information on Ford or Motorcraft parts, contact your Ford or Lincoln dealer or distributor or visit FordParts.com.